we're going to review the control settings on the Avia ventilator. As you can see, the controls can be found along the lower edge of the display screen. To change a control setting, select a control, in this case respiratory rate, adjust it to the desired level, and either touch the control again or push the accept key on the front of the ventilator. All controls are changed with this standard touch, turn, touch, three-step approach. Some of the controls you may notice have an upward pointing yellow triangle. This means that there are advanced settings associated with those specific controls. To access the advanced settings, we open the advanced settings window by pressing the advanced settings button on the front of the ventilator. If we select a primary control now, we will see the associated advanced settings that can modify it. To change an advanced setting, is the same as changing a primary control. Touch the control, turn it to the desired level, and touch it again to accept. Note that you can change advanced settings without changing the primary control. To close the advanced settings window, simply press the advanced settings button on the front of the ventilator. If you're adjusting a control and you notice that you pass a red indicator on that display, that indicates that you've passed an associated alarm threshold. If you do this and accept the setting, it will result in an immediate alarm. Under these circumstances, you should first change the alarm threshold and then change the setting. You'll also notice that if you make a control change and do not accept it, within 15 seconds, the ventilator will restore the control change to its previous value. All control changes must be accepted. For a complete description of the specific controls associated with modes, please refer to Chapter 3 of your Operator's Manual.